Here's a new, there's a new boo-boo? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Libs don't know what a father is, says boo-boo Bennett, who certainly does know what a father is. Um, okay, we got some good fucking vids coming up. Let's take a look at, let's get started with some boo-boo Bennett, okay? I'm going in hot. I got to pee real bad, dude. A female man. Let's get started. Let's get fucking started. I'm sure this is going to be transphobic as shit. They want to turn, you know, go to the other side. And I feel like that we should give her the same, or he, her the same respect when she turns over. And if she wants to have a kid, we should celebrate her as a father. And she, it should be Father's Day for everyone. It shouldn't just be about gender. What is a father? Does it have to be a male? Does it have to be a man? No. Or can a father be anybody? Yeah. I view her as like my dad in a way. Can a woman be a father? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. I definitely think so. They can? I mean, it's... Um, they, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can a woman be a father? A mother can definitely be a father. Just whatever you want a father to be. Yeah. yeah. There's no specific criteria that makes a father a father? Not really, no. What about a mother? No. Mother, well, to me, my mom is just the one who gave birth to me. Oh. Yeah. Is there a specific name for that? Like, is there any category of people who give birth? Uh biologically females but it doesn't have to be happy father's day we're here in clearwater to see if people even know what a father is and if we should just get rid of father's day altogether because it's super offensive let's find out speaking of father's day if you forgot to get your dad a shirt from lhmerch.com don't worry, we have 4th of July shirts and they're on sale 20% off with code JULY4. You can just double it up, 4th of July, and say sorry for not getting your dad a gift. How dare you? And That is so disrespectful. Imagine being like, hey, dad, I didn't get you anything. I forgot to get you something, so I got you this ugly-ass fucking Boo Boo Bennett shirt. Like, goddamn, get, get this on, child, okay? What a fucking horrible Father's Day gift, dude. You are significantly better off not getting them anything than getting her, getting your dad this, this fucking dumbass uh, gift, okay? Here you go. Uh, here is a, here is a mug from uh, a famous conservative commentator who is most notably, uh, who's known for pooping her pants. Uh, okay, here you go. And not to mention, you can also get this really to the point shirt. This is arrest Dr. Fauci. Okay. So was I right? I was peeing, so I didn't hear it. Like, is she just being transphobic or some shit? Do that. LHMerch.com. See you there. So is there anybody you want to say happy Father's Day to? Yes, to my dad. He's the Aww. best dad in the world. Do we have the same dad? My dad's the best dad in the world. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. You never know, right? You never know. You never know. What is a father? What is a father? A father is somebody. Dude, why do conservatives care so much? Like, other trans people don't care about trans issues this much, dude. Like, they just, they love trans people so much. They cannot stop themselves from, like, bringing every conversation back to, like, trans people existing. It's so fucking wild. Just, like, give it a break, dude. What, like, Ben Shabibo, every Father's Day, every Mother's Day, happy ge non-specified gender day for, uh, you know, singular uh, parental unit. It's, like, literally every fucking time. They're so obsessed, dude. It's so weird, man. Fucking chill, please. Somebody that has a kid, um, responsible of a family, family, right? That could also be a mother. A mother, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what is the difference between a mother and a father? I don't know. Well, it's not a trick question. I don't know. We, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer that. What makes a father not a mother? Oh, uh, I, I don't know either. <laughs> what, what is a father? Uh, well, personally to me, my father is... Like, what makes a father different than a mother? I don't know. Like, what? What? I don't know. Why? Like, why do you care? Like, what, what is the... 
Like, it literally does not matter. I guess gender? Is that what it is? Uh, okay, gender. Like, who cares? Who cares? Yeah, if you're... I was talking to Murad about this the other, uh, the other day, where I was like, yo, it's kind of crazy. Like, Father's Day really doesn't get a lot of play in comparison to Mother's Day, right? Because we were looking at some memes about Father's Day, and you know how, like, no one really gives a shit about Father's Day in the same way that they give a shit about Mother's Day, right? And Murat brought up a really great point, and it's, I think it's true. He's like, yeah, it's because they can't sell as much shit to dads. That's it. Like, there, is a, there, is, there are limitations to what you can sell to dads, so people don't really give a shit about it as much. He's like, yeah, if you go to Lowe's right now or Home Depot, shit's popping off out there. But it's not necessarily, like, a big Hallmark holiday because the fuck are you going to buy a dad, like, buy your dad socks? Whereas you can buy your mom a bunch of shit. <laughs> Is he suggesting dads save money and moms buy everything bigot? No, like, capitalist corporations can sell you a fuckload more products for Mother's Day, ranging from smaller items like chocolate and fucking flowers and shit like that, all the way to big ticket items, you know, jewelry, whatever the fuck. Whereas with dads, like, there isn't necessarily as much shit to sell. Worst takes, dads are nerds. There's plenty of shit for nerds. I'm just saying, from the point of view of, like, giant corporations, like, you can't really sell too much. It's to the same degree that you can sell a lot of product for mothers on Mother's Day, I think. It's my dad. Yeah. But also, I have other people who, like, filled that father role for me right. in other aspects. But just whatever you want a father to be. Yeah. yeah. There's no specific criteria that makes a father a Father's fa Day in the middle of Pride Month is queer phobic? Wait, what? You're not serious, are you? You're fucking memeing, right? Like, what, queer people can't be fathers? Like, what a fucking weird take. So, like, what? All, all members of the LGBT com uh, community are, are just not fathers by definition? Like Father? Not really, no. What about a mother? Mother? Well, to me, my mom is just the one who gave birth to me. Oh. Yeah. Is there a specific name for that? Like, is there any category of people who give birth? Uh biologically females but it doesn't have to be they want to celebrate on father's day it's pretty funny that like yo it blows my mind that people are so much more woke than i expect them to be like i legitimately don't expect beachgoers in some random fucking florida town to just be like yeah who gives a shit like yeah you know the biological mother i guess or you know someone who uh someone who believes uh or like Someone whose gender pronouns are female would be a mother. Someone whose gender pronouns are male would be a father. Like, it's like as woke as as I would fucking be in that conversation. You know what I mean? They they can do that too. Right. Even we don't have to men. get rid of it. Uh, even though they're not men. If they consider themselves as a father, then Father's Day would be for them too. Technically, to me, she is a father. What a father is is someone who's there for their kids i mean teaches them things right from wrong that's her it's so is stupid. there anything that separates a father like what is specific about a father what makes a father a father i mean someone that teaches them like i said right from wrong um you know just teaches them morals values how to change your oil she does all of that well me, isn't that just a mother because you're using she I'm mom. pronouns i'm mom I mean, I'm mom. I do the motherly things. She does the fatherly things. Can anybody be a father? I guess so, yeah. Like, some people are a mother and a father, like single moms. Sure. Are they, mo are they mothers like and... What happens when a good Christian, when a good, wholesome Christian, okay, a good, wholesome, real Christian family that's conservative and red-blooded Americans are incapable of having children, so then they go and adopt a child, Okay. So is that father no longer a fucking dad? Because, like, he didn't literally create the child. Like, he, he, his semen uh, did not uh, play a role in the creation of this child. Like, are you just going to sit there and be like, yeah, you're not a fucking dad, sorry. Like, that's kind of fucked up. I mean, that guy's, uh, you know, a white Christian American man. Uh, the, the, the type that you should care about. So what the fuck? fathers or are they just single mothers 
they, they can fill both roles. Like, you know, they can do, like, you know, baseball games and stuff and take the dad role. Sure. Yeah, they can take the dad role, but they're not dads, right? I, I, I guess. No, I mean, I don't know. It depends on how you interpret it, I suppose. <laughs> how do you interpret it? I, that anybody can be whatever they want to be. Anybody can be whatever they want to be. Not a biological what? father, but yeah, father. Yeah, okay, so what? Are you really are you really trying to get into a semantics argument then at that point? You know what I mean? Because it's all literally semantics here. Like this is this doesn't prove anything. Once again, it's another Booboo Bennett video that like has like this unspecified point that they're trying to like direct people to arrive at, this unspecified conclusion. I guess like the conclusion is that like you're not like, gender is confusing or something, which it is. Like, it literally is fucking confusing. So, so okay, what did you what did you arrive at? Like, yeah, gender is confusing. Got it. Okay. So what? That's interesting. How's that work? Because I don't care how people identify, and that's their own concern. Can a woman be a father? Um, yes. Yeah, I definitely think so. They can? I mean, it's... Like, they're not even using, like... They're not even being woke in the sense that, like, a, a, a trans woman or, or a trans man is, like, a woman who's a father. Like, that would... Like, I don't even think they're that's what they're trying to say here. You know what I mean? Like, I think they're literally saying, like, yeah, in, like, a cis-lesbian couple, you know, uh, one can assume the responsibilities of a father. Like, they're not even thinking about it from the point of view of, like, gender... In like a in like a in like a transphobic construct, like that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to trap them in like a oh, what a, a trans man can't be a father, right? And it's like, well, why not? Like, I don't understand. Like, even if these people are saying that like uh, a trans man uh, is not technically a father or something, or they're, I, I, they're not even saying that actually. I feel like a lot of people are saying, like, single moms can fill the father role, too. Yeah, like, literally, unintentionally, they're just, like, showing everyone uh, in, in a very woke light and in a pretty good light overall. Um, they... Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can a woman be a father? A mother can definitely be a father. Sometimes, you know, depending on a particular situation... A mother may have to be considered mother and father. Mm -hmm. Can a she a do a fatherly a things? I mean, what is a father? Um, I mean, a role model, somebody that you look up to, right? Yeah. I and mean, has no gender? To me, no. 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 You think to everybody there's that's, that's mothers, how it is? There's lots of mothers out there that are single mothers who play both roles. Right, but are they fathers? Yeah, if they're single. Dad's not around, not there. So that that makes them a man? Role. That makes them a father? No. A man. Only a man can assume the role of father. Okay, well, then trans men that want to be called fathers are fathers then. Okay, got it. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Like, it's so weird. What a fucking strange, what a strange argument, dude. I know an MB who was raising their child gender neutral in there. And their MB partner do so much better than most partners I've seen. Yeah. I mean, not a man, but it gives them the father role. Do you think women can be fathers? Yeah. Yeah, I know some of them. How's that work? I don't know. They just do they handle they handle their part. When the dad ain't there, shit, they just do their thing. But they're just super moms then. They're not yeah. dads, right? They super moms, you know, I got one of them. Yes. I got a super mom, you yes. know what I'm saying? So happy Super Mother's Day to your mom, right. number one. Shout out B. Jones, Brandy, you know what I'm saying? I love you, mama. <laughs> Who cares what other people do? If, yeah. <laughs> if you Who cares like it, if there's drag queens on Nickelodeon? If you don't like it, don't let your kids watch Spongebob, right? What? Where the fuck did that come from, dude? dude where is this video going? There's no shot that this video has more content than just this. Hey, do you do you know what a father is? Huh? Can a mother be a father? Huh? Well, what about drag queens on SpongeBob? Like what? Okay. Uh. So what? 
I guess, yeah, if that's how you want a parent. It's about the being there. Like, it's about the person who's there. I, I celebrate Father's Day because I was a single mom for the, the for a long time. And I was like, yeah, it's my, it's my day too. Mother You're a father too? Yeah, I'm a mother and a father. Both roles because it's just me and baby. Was, and now he's yeah. in the picture. What is a father? Sperm donor. <laughs> <laughs> what is a father? A fully responsible adult man who has children. Adult man? Yes. Can women be fathers? No. You're right. <laughs> okay. Like, even if that's the case, like, so what? Like, literally, so what? Oh, uh, is this what she's talking about? What is this? Nickelodeon had uh, drag queens on? What, what's up? Tell Nickelodeon, tell Nickelodeon what you think about this. Tag them, DM them, shame them, bring back shame. Why? Okay, let's see what this is. I, I, I want to know what, what the fucking got these people so triggered. Doesn't it just fill you with pride? Showing who you are on the inside. Yeah. With that pride flag up high. Show yeah. your pride with those flags, everybody. Here we go. Red, light, orange, healing, yellow is sun. Like green, nature, blue, honey, purple is spirit. Baby blue, pink and white represent transgender people. And black and brown represent the queer and trans people. Okay. What's the problem with this? Like, this is like, why is this shameful? I legitimately don't understand what the problem is with this. Like, what? what's up? Here's what I don't get, okay? Like, do conservatives think that, like, if you act like trans people don't exist or gay people don't exist, like, your kids will never grow up to, like, be in the proximity of gay people or something? Like, what? Like, conservatives are so fucking baby brain that they unironically have object permanence, I think, like, issues with object permanence where they they literally think, like, if we, if we just don't admit that, you know, trans people exist, like, no one will know. We'll hide it. We'll fucking hide it. It's like, okay... They'll never turn gay if they'll never turn gay if they don't know about it. Okay, like it's always like, all right, well, there's fucking hella straight shit in the news and in all matter of media. It's like overwhelmingly straight. So don't worry, it'll make up for the gay shit that they see, I guess. I know a lot of Republicans from outside cities, they think that th they think this on racism slash LGBT. It's the same argument that stop talking about racism and racism ends, LMAO. Like with everything else, they believe in trans creationism, where the first trans person was created by God to trick them, and they have propagated it ever since. You do realize this why Concrete Boys was created, right? What the fuck is Concrete Boys? I was hidden from LGBTQ stuff until after high school, and guess what? It would have helped a lot to realize I was bi in high school, and I wasn't weird for liking women, too. Yeah, like, all you do when you fucking hide this shit from your children is make them feel weird if they feel different than other kids. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. Like, it's not like they're... Uh, and that's kind of the point. That's why, like, that's why this education exists. You know what I mean? You're not really... You're not really stopping, uh, uh, you know, gay people from existing or trans people from existing. They exist already. You're just stopping people from recognizing it. And uh, I guess that's... I guess, like... That is kind of the point for a lot of conservatives. That's why, like, Ben Shabibo now says uh, something along the lines of, like, if you're gay, but also an Orthodox Jew, like, just hide those urges. And uh, 
And then you can keep being an Orthodox Jew. Otherwise, you can't be a Jew and gay at the same time. You can't be a Jew and get gay married. You have to get straight married. You can still be gay, but, you know, like, that's, that's the argument is, like, if you have these urges, you have to stop them. And it's a bit of a self-report because, like, I don't have those urges. Like, I've been exposed to so much uh, gay shit. I live in WeHo. You know what I mean? Like, like if, you, if you have urges, then, you know, eh, you might be a little gay. You know, just a little bit. You know what I mean? Just, just a tad bit. Just a baby bit. You know what I'm saying? No shot he says that. Ben has said that on uh, the Joe Rogan podcast before. <sighs> anyway. You were right. Let's picture it. Let's put in some confetti right here. But it doesn't make them a father. Father, father figure. Father figure. Yeah, please. I view her. Well, a father figure is a male. A father figure is a male because that's really important to the dynamic of a child and its upbringing. But I don't know. I mean, that's kind of what I'm out here asking today is what is a father? Does it have to be a male? Does it have to be a man? No. Or can but isn't it early for a seven, eight, nine year old to start questioning these identities? I mean, it happens to at whatever age group it happens to kids at, okay? Like, like I, I don't understand what the fucking uh, negative consequences are of, like, someone being like, oh, shit, I might be gay. Like, it doesn't mean... You, re you think you're straight at the age of eight, right? If you think you're straight at the age of eight, like, why does that not trigger any alarm bells in your fucking head when you see that? Like, it doesn't always have to be about having sex immediately. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, it's like eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds see straight uh, relationships literally all the time in movies, in TV, crushes, and that doesn't fuck them up. You know what I mean? Like, you see straight relationships literally from the beginning of time, nonstop. It doesn't immediately have to be, like, inherently sexualizing or inherently sexual in general. It's just like, you know, it's just a thing that exists in society and it, it is reflected back in culture. And uh, it just shows people that they have more options. It's the parents that just don't want these children gay. I figured I was by the age of 12, but I definitely don't want kids to... I don't want to kiss or fuck anyone at that age. Yeah, like. As the daughter of a cis lesbian couple, I know the daughter right there is ready to kill. Can a father be anybody? Yeah, I view her as like my dad in a way. Okay. So. So Father's Day doesn't have any gender. Not to me, no. I view her as, like, my Father's Day figure. It's Father's Day on Sunday. Did you get your dad a gift? Yes. You did? Yes. You got him a shirt from LHMerch.com, and you used the discount code JULY4 for 20% 20 off. 20%. And you got your 4th of, July, 4th of July shirts there, too, didn't you? Yes. Okay. Big, hard-hitting question for Father's Day. What is a father? Uh, he's my dad, and he, he loves me a lot. He got divorced, though, so I don't know if he loves my mom, but... Damn, it's kind of sad, dude. You know. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Yeah, to some extent, you know. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. I, I think he likes his new 25-year-old girlfriend more. Oh, my God. Oh, my but... Lord, dude. What's your dad's name? Uh, Ben. Ben, what the... <laughs> <laughs> so I have an opinion on it. I think that, well, one, we were either born... That's literally like, yo, by the way, Boo Boo Bennett's bread and butter is like literally divorce court dads. Now we know. Now we know exactly who the fuck would want like a like a shitty ass Boo Boo Bennett shirt uh, for, for a fucking, you know, Father's Day. Do you like the winged eyeliner on Boo Bennett? No, that's... Oh, I was going to say, yeah. Like, actually, I'm not automatically into uh, uh, winged eyeliners because, like, that it doesn't do it for me. I do not find Boo Bennett attractive in any way, shape, or form. 
born male or female. So I think that as mothers, we celebrate Mother's Day for mothers, and then we celebrate males as um, for Father's Day. So um, I think that transgender or is it gender neutral? I don't know. Out of all due respect, I think it's a choice that they have chosen. But I think that what... She was doing so well up until that point. Like, I thought she was just going to be like, I don't really give a shit what they call God has either made us male or female, and no judgmental, no harm. Let's just put that out there. I don't mean any harm. Everyone has a choice. But that doesn't mean because we choose to um, represent what God created us to be that we can't celebrate male or female. And my perspective on it is, is that I feel like that in a relationship when you have all those, you know, different perspectives, I feel like that a female may want to turn, you know, go to the other side. And I feel like that we should give her the same, or he, her the same respect when she turns over. And if she wants to have a kid, we should celebrate her as a father. And she, it should be Father's Day for everyone. It shouldn't just be about gender. Yeah, because aren't they choosing their gender, right? Can you choose your gender? Uh, clearly. Well, so I'm old school. You can? Yeah, I mean, look at it. I mean, everybody, I'm born a female, and if I wanted to change my gender, I can. How? Uh, uh, surgery, what, all that other extra stuff that they no, do? You can. <laughs> no, no, no. As you guys probably figured, that conversation cannot be uploaded in its entirety here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She just goes like. Damn, she fucking paywalled that, dude. On YouTube and Facebook, go to LibertyHangout.tv to watch the full uncensored portion of that video. You're not going to want to miss it, but I can't play it here. LibertyHangout.tv, see you there. There's trans women. They don't have What's to What's that? Um, it can be anything you want it to be. A, wom a woman can be anything you want it to be? Yeah, it can. You go to college? Bro, the thing is, like, gender is confusing, so, like... People don't know uh, how to, like, describe it, especially when they're, like, faced with, like, uh, like an immediate negative uh, person to be like, come on, just be transphobic. Like, like, it's, like, it's hard for them to just, like, use the proper terminology, but it doesn't matter. Like, the energy there is just that, like, they're chill. You know what I mean? Like, that they're just like, yeah, whatever, who cares? What's your major? I graduated. What, what'd you graduate? Microbiology. I, gra I graduated with a biology degree. Mm -hmm. How is it I went through school learning that men are men and women are women? You didn't, though. You, like, no shot. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, either you're keeping it open-ended as best as possible, but, like, like, were you not paying attention? Like, if you're a biology student, you at least, at the very least, if you didn't fall asleep at, like, every fucking class, learned, like, that intersex people exist, for example. You know what I mean? That, like, that immediately destroys the concept of, like, the gender binary, okay? Like, even if you consider, like, even if you consider trans people to be unnatural somehow, whatever the fuck that means, because you're racist as fuck, like, or, or not racist, sorry, bigoted as fuck, like, you still recognize that, like, you know, intersex people exist, Right? So there's not a single, I don't know, I said fucking racist. Dude, I'm, I'm like, so, I mean, Boo Boo is racist. We know that already. She's racist too, so it doesn't really matter. But um, there is no shot you went through school and just like never learned. Never, ever, ever learned in a single one of your classes that, uh, that like gender is not uh, binary, Okay. I guess she was too busy pooping at frat houses to, to like, you know, study and uh, truly understand what the fuck was going on. But uh, that doesn't change the reality. And you went through school as well, microbiology, and we came out with different, different educations. Well, there's a difference between men and women in biology. Oh. A man and a woman, that, that's, that's gender. And gender identity is something totally different. I mean, they're... Oh! Oh my god. Wait, why is she keeping that up? Dude, that's crazy. That's actually What the fuck? Yeah, you talked about Cam Cookie and Andrew Tor Trowers? What? Dude, I have no idea who these people are. I'm just preemptively banning you, dude. I don't care. 
I'm just gonna start banning random people that just like spam the same shit over and over again. There can be women that can be like, as a like male figure, kind of in a way, like that take uh, on that role. You don't think men should? Men can. I don't know, I mean, just to raise a kid with good morals, respect okay. others. Isn't that a mother? Yes. So what is a father? I, don't, I mean, I just said, I don't know. So there's no difference between mothers and fathers? Uh, why would there be? But like, what's the difference? I don't get it. I don't know why she's pressing Rob Gronkowski on this. I don't know how she found him uh, at the beach, but... Like, what is the difference? It's just like semantics. I, I don't understand. Uh, I mean, like, is the difference that important? Or is it not purely arbitrary? Like, I literally don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I, like, what is the difference? Like, they're both fucking parents. Like, I don't understand. Like, even if you were to say one has a vagina and the other has a penis, or one lactates and the other doesn't, it's like, Okay, well, what about fucking lesbian uh, parents? You know what I mean? Or what about gay parents? Like, there is no difference. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and also, there is no, there is only empirical evidence that disproves the conservative talking point that, like, you know, LGBT parents are somehow worse than straight parents. And there is no, there is no study that proves that LGBT parents are worse at parenting than straight parents. As a matter of fact, the only data available shows that they aren't worse. Mothers are a little more, in my opinion, because you're asking me, feminine, you know, men. They're women? Huh? They're women? Yes. And fathers are men? Well, that's kind of what's going on in this world. Women are acting like men, and men are acting like women. I don't know if you guys are for that or against that, but... Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, to each their own. What is the truth? <laughs> dude, that's fucking awesome, dude. He's just like, I don't give a fuck. Men are acting like women. Women are acting like men. Whatever, dude. If you want to do you, you do you, brother. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. My opinion is... No, no. What is the truth? I don't know. I'm not on social media. I don't really socialize with a lot of people. But I feel like men should act like men and women should act like women. Yeah, we got you. I finally was able to extract the talking point out of you by, like, consistently agitating over and over again about how, you know, you should be a certain way. Fucking got him, dude. Yes. I agree with you. <laughs> My God, why is it like pulling teeth? You shouldn't ever abolish your Father's Day because, you know, like God, he's our father. And all that, you know, it's just, <clears throat> he's everybody's father in, in reality, you know, and I just think, why would you abolish that? Can a woman be a... True, brother, hell yeah. I think God is my daddy. A father? She cannot, no. No, a, a woman can be a mother, but she cannot be a father. She can be a great mother, but not, not a father, no. Okay, okay. You are very bold. <laughs> And you did not I, stutter? You did not I, think about? I'm very passionate about that. Like, a mother can't be a father, and a father can't be a mother either. Why is it you are the only, the second only person I've talked to that is willing to give it to me straight and not be a I don't know. Like, that in and of itself isn't even, like, inherently transphobic. But I mean, I guess, like, it devalues, like, non-binary identities and shit like that. But, like, still, okay. Like, she's not even honest. She should just be like, can trans men be fathers, okay? She should just come out and say, can trans men be fathers? Can trans women be mothers? Because, like, people will turn around and be like, yeah, they can. Who gives a shit? And, like, that's what she's trying to get out of people, I think. That's what she's trying to get out of people, but, like, she's just having a hard time... Uh, Centering it that way, I don't know why. Afraid that they're on that camera saying something like that. Well, probably because they're not me. You know, me, I'm very authentic. 
one of a kind. You know, I'm not scared to just say what's on my mind. So that's probably why. No. What do kids call MB parents? Dude, I have no idea. I, I don't know. But like a lot of MB, uh, a lot of MB folks don't give a shit to that degree where they're just like, it has to be gender neutral. They're just like, at least the ones I know are just chill. Like they don't give a fuck. They're just like, yeah, whatever. Call me whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever they want to be called. The emperor, yeah. Be transphobic or I will poop right here. <laughs> yeah, she's like, uh, I'll have you know that I will be pooping right here if you don't give me what I want, okay? I will poop my pants so hard, the entire beach will have to be evacuated. No disrespect to any trans person, but a man is a man and a woman is a woman. A father is a man. A mother is a woman. And that's my personal belief. And I don't feel like anybody can change that or contra... Like, this, this is... You know what? When you're trying to make a transphobic argument so hard that you end up, like, literally rolling cis men and cis women, too, where it's like, who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? You can be, like, a stay-at-home dad. Like, is that not a father? Like, I don't understand. What if the mother is the uh, primary breadwinner in the family? Like, you're, you're literally just, like, shitting on everyone that isn't just operating on the 1960s traditional family unit. Like, the cishet... Uh, this heteronormative traditional family values or whatever the fuck. And there's plenty of those people that are conservative too, by the way. So, like, I don't really get it. Straight to what they believe, they cannot make that any different. Man, bing, bang, bada. Just wrap it up right there. Ah. I'm celebrating Juneteenth. I, how, how do you celebrate Juneteenth? I just bought my Juneteenth flag. Did you? Yes. Very good. Why didn't you have it before now? Well, I was just reminded from the media this week to buy one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you buy your pride flag as well? Yep. I Me left it too. at home, though. I have pride as well. Straight pride. I'm straight. And this is so perfect. Okay, honestly, that's perfect. Because, like, it's so ugly. Like, what a perfect representation. Like, like all the pride merch is fucking uh, gosh, okay? Let's be real. Like... A lot of this pride merch is just like, you know, pink washing, green washing corporations that want to make like profits off of social justice causes. And they're so ugly for the most part. But like that somehow takes the cake. She got the GTA font. It's literally like it's somehow worse, dude. It's somehow fucking worse than like all the pride shit like. It's perfect. It's actually a perfect representation of like straight pride and how fucking boring and 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 shitty it is. It's just like so bland, so tasteless. And if you're straight and you want to show your pride during June, you can go to lhmerch.com. You can get 20% off with uh, the code that's on there. Like what the fuck? Who who gets motivated to like buy this shit, dude? That's so whack. Then again, I don't even know who the fuck would buy, like, Pride merchandise. Like, Equinox is, like, rolling out Pride merchandise. And it's just like, okay, it's got the rainbow on it. Like, it's still 70 fucking dollars for goddamn shorts, you know? I, I just don't, I don't understand. I, I think it's so stupid. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have straight Pride? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, blurred lines when I'm with this guy, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we won't talk about that. Do you think any of those arguments... Just dudes being bros at the beach, dude. Being a little fucking gay with the homies. You know what I mean? Nothing wrong with that, okay? Nothing wrong with kissing your homies a little bit at the beach, you know? Body to body, going to the water. Bodies are touching one another, you know? They're just homosexual. This would hold water if we were to abolish Father's Day. Um, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> I don't think this is offensive. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to abolish Mother's Day because you can't chime in on that? No. Like, who the fuck wants to abolish Father's Day? <laughs> what the fuck? Is there even a movement amongst, like, rad libs even that are like, we need to abolish Father's Day? Like, no one fucking says that, right? Like, I've never heard that. Like, I actually have not heard that. Like, at all. I Maybe there is one. I don't know. But, like, who gives a fuck? 
One way or the other, it's just like meaningless. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think there's that subsect of people that want to just ruin something if they don't fit in or they don't like it? I think they're just exaggerated. Bro, literally saying that is she's wearing a straight pride shirt, dude. Dog, that's literally you. That's you. You're you're like, you can't fucking you're so butthurt that like gay pride exists that you had to make your ugly ass fucking gray ass shirt that says straight pride on it. You made an entire career off of like going to the beach and like annoying people with your fucking prodding takes trying to get like an ounce of fucking just a just a little bit of bigotry out of like the random beachgoers that you meet on any given day like that's literally all you do it's all conservatives do in general is, <laughs> is just like it's just like gay people exist and they're like ah it makes me so mad kind of and they just want everything to be about them i mean i don't have anything against them that like think that like everyone has their own opinion i just don't think it would happen i, I don't think anyone's canceling father's day not in my book what is a father a father is a man who raises a child i think that's pretty plain and simple there's a lot of people on this beach that are a lot oh, they're afraid to say the male part of that oh really <laughs> That's silly. That's that's one of the biggest. That's one of the biggest parts that makes the difference between a mother and a father. I think it's really important for people to have a father. Um, like, I feel like a lot of people who are in prison don't have a father, so it's kind of weird that uh, saying that fathers aren't needed in society today. It's kind of crazy. Kind of seems ass backwards. The funniest part about the video is the background music because it's like she she has like girls gone vi uh, wild vibes. Like the entire the entire fucking uh, show is like centered as those girls gone wild, which is of course like a, a, a famous uh, you know video series in the '90s where like these guys would go to like spring breakers and try to get women to show their titties and stuff. And uh, now it's just this, you know what I mean? Zoomers don't know. But they do know that at the top of the hour, there's a 60-second ad break. Zoomers know that now. They know how to eat hot chip and expect the 60-second ad break at the top of the hour and lie. And uh, they also know that if they no longer want to see the ads, and there is something they can do, uh, they can subscribe. They can subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. This way they can uh, have a ad-free broadcasting experience this is zoomers i'm letting you know dude you can use an ad block or a vpn too you know it's up to you baby you can you can do what you want but here's the ad break now yeah. um but i mean <laughs> the people definitely need fathers like um i don't know you have anything to say about that why are people scared to say that fathers are men Cancel culture. That's yeah, why that's right. people think, and I don't even think it's like a large group of people that are like hating. It's just uh, even companies are going with the very small minority that just have the loudest and scream the loudest, and I mean, yeah. set buildings on fire for riots. Like they're just listening to this small they just minority. Just want to appease. Wait, what? It's cancel culture, and that's why buildings are on fire because Father's Day. What? What the fuck? It's, it's cancel culture when people light buildings on fire because Father's Day exists? Dude, he just, like, he literally didn't understand what the question was, I think. Or maybe I didn't understand it. And he just kind of fucking blurted out, like, every conservative talking point in a row. He was just like, something will slap. I I'll slap this on. One of these will fit the bill, you know? Don't think too much about it. The violent extremist out there. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I feel like that's not normal. Like, that's definitely not the norm. <laughs> like, when he was talking about fatherlessness as a consequence of our criminal justice system, I unironically thought he was going to go somewhere woke with that and be like, yeah, which is why we really need to fucking let out, like, nonviolent criminal offenders, you know? Like, I, I genuinely thought he was going to go somewhere good with that. And then he was just like, but they're, bur they're burning buildings. <laughs> <laughs> they're burning buildings.
They're burning buildings because Father's Day. Why would you think this? I don't know. When I think of a fuckload of dads in prison, my immediate reaction isn't like, we should put more dads in prison. It's the opposite. So maybe there's something wrong with me. You said people in people without a father end up in prison? Oh, okay. I didn't even understand what he was saying. But <laughs> yeah, don't have a father equals jail. People just kind of listen to the ones that scream the loudest and... Oh, what if conservatives get loud? What if we get loud? Do you think anything will change? Yeah, dude. Uh, famously, conservatives are always so quiet, dude. You know? Silent majority. It's just like they're so quiet all the time. I'm always thinking to myself, fuck, man, if only conservatives were a little bit louder. It's like, dude, you... Louder with Crowder. God damn, bro. Like, conservatives should exercise shutting the fuck up sometimes, you know? change uh we get ousted as racists or um kind of the fbi starts knocking on your door what is different yeah dude come on i mean that's a self-report he's like come on when conservatives get a little loud like you know the january 6th insurrection happens and then the fbi comes knocking on your door for doing a little bit of a come on guy like just trying to have a little insurrection on the side brother what the fuck You know, we were just getting a little loud, dude, with our conservative beliefs. But also Antifa did it. From about a father yeah, than any outed. other role model out there. I feel like they're strong and they do, like, kind of the dirty work most of the yeah, time. Yeah, they do. Uh-huh. They, they kind of carry the family on their shoulders. And they do that because they're... Men? Men. <laughs> Men. Men. Now that seems like, why are you asking me this type of question? There's people I've talked to today that are scared to say that fathers are men because it's offensive to the trans people out there and the lesbians out there. They want to abolish Father's Day because it's offensive. I think every everybody has to have someone to look up to. And, and I think just being in... Yeah, literally, come on, come on, just like say something transphobic. Don't you get it? Like, I need you to say something like bad right now. Please, 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 please. What about, come on, come on. Like, I'm going to argue on a point that like absolutely zero people have made an issue about. Come on, come on, just say something, dude. No one is agreeing with me. Come on. System, we, we've worked with foster care before, and I think that it's important for boys especially to have a strong male role model. Right. Who's smoking the devil's lettuce out here? I don't know, but I'm jealous. Do you smell it? Yeah. I think I see the culprit. I think he's, got, he's just walking around with it in his hands. Why would that be a problem? God, conservatives are so fucking lame, dude. Being anti-weed is like the ultimate fucking self-report as a lame-ass, dude. It's not like 1984 anymore, you know? Even then, like, 